Day 19, we uh, worked at Food Outreach, an organization that has its own pantry where those who are in need of food can come in. They give you a menu, has fruits, vegetables, and meats. You choose a certain amount per category, and you get that for the week. Um, the remarkable thing is that they work with Live Feed, an organization that has bands and other events work um, near the St. Louis area and people can come watch those events by donating food or money. But, uh, <clears throat> so when we went, uh, we were helping out live feed at a drive-in movie theater. It was Scottaway, uh 60th anniversary of a drive-in movie theater. So we stood outside both entrances with uh, giant tubs and uh, little donation jars, and we went up to every car that came in asking if they had cans to donate, which would give them uh, a price reduction off their tickets, or they could donate $2 to get a price reduction on their tickets. So we stood out there for about two hours, maybe. We got over $200 easily, and probably over 200 pounds of food. So, and right after that, we uh, got to watch our driving movie theater. Uh, we got to watch Transformers 2 on the big screen. Still awesome, a second time. And then we watched Star Trek, which I wish I knew Star Trek before I watched it, because that didn't make sense to me at all. Day 20, we got up early in the morning and we traveled to Harvester's Community Food Bank. Uh, they're an organization where they teach uh, not only uh, kindergartners age, uh, but also adults how to cook and prepare meals that are both healthy and affordable. Uh, I thought it was remarkable because we got to see um, one of the classes, we got to just, uh, be part of it. And we just watched how the kids learned about grains and stuff I didn't even know about. Like an orca. Orca, yeah. Some fruit like that. But the point was though that it addressed kids, you know, the issue of eating healthy, how to eat healthy, whether they can cook to prepare to make themselves, you know, live a healthy lifestyle. And it was awesome. After that, we did a long, long, long drive from Kansas City to Denver, Colorado. There's not much at all on the drive there. So I, I slept. I woke up, we were in Colorado, and it was, was kind of like Twilight Zone. But uh, we were end up in a Hilton here. Best hotel we've been to so far, yeah, by far. Oh my gosh. They gave us gift baskets, they even gave us a banner saying welcome Oregon State. So, it's been really awesome. The Homewood Suites by Hilton. Good? Yeah. That's that's good. <laughs> The staff's been great, the breakfast has been great, the whole place has been fantastic for us. Day 21, uh, today was, oh, we took a trip to Same Cafe. Same Cafe has meals prepared where there is no minimum or maximum price on the meals. So you can donate however much you can or feel like is appropriate for the meal. So we ate there for lunch, and it was actually really good. I had some pizza and chicken soup, and it was phenomenal. And just the program itself, just I think it's extraordinary. After that, we went to Operation Frontline, uh, the Colorado Division, where we got um, where the organization has their own uh, kitchen sets prepared that they go to the communities to show people how to cook. After that, we went to the gathering place which is a spot for women who just want to relax or calm them, uh, a calming atmosphere but also is filled with resources for food um, internet uh, somewhat of a daycare system but more of the point is just it gives women an environment that they feel safe and comfortable with so um, we just got back and it's like eight-ish so I think I'm just going to 
relax for a little bit before we head out tomorrow. We are going to check out uh, the Alpine slides, which I've never been to, so excited for that. And then we're going to drive, uh, I believe we're going to make a pit stop in Salt Lake City tomorrow, so if not, we're going to drive all the way to Boise, Idaho. But other than that, that's it for the day, so uh, see you guys later. Bye.